up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Pixel Plus UI on this device and this is not actually the Pixel Experience Plus this is a different kind of build it is based on Pixel Experience as far as I know but it is a different ROM here in the Android version as you can see it shows the Pixel Plus UI logo and here it shows the Pixel Plus UI version 1.2.100 official build and the android version is 10 of course and i am noticing some kind of differences if you compare it to the pixel experience plus and here the features are a little bit less but this rom seems to be pretty great now let me talk about the security patch and stuff this is as you can see march 5 2020 security patch not quite latest april yet and the build date 31st march 2020 build now talking about flashing this rom well i have flashed it with the latest orange fox recovery and i use the beta version but you can also use the stable version i guess the latest stable version of orange box recovery is out i think the stable version is r10.11 and i have flashed this with the beta orange box which is r10. some kind of triple one so i use that and with that i am encrypted over here my storage is encrypted so i did not need to flash any script disabler or something so i just flash the rom and reboot it and right now as you can see I am like in the UI and I have been using this ROM for about two days now and my experience has been pretty great but I have been noticing some things like as you can see right now I'm connected to a Bluetooth device but still this like does not show the Bluetooth device's battery but if you scroll down on the quick settings panel only then it shows the battery over there but it does not show the like Bluetooth battery over here I mean maybe I have to enable some system UI tuner and stuff but by default this is the experience I'm getting now let's talk about Vaulty and stuff. Yes, Vaulty is working. And if you talk customizations over here in this ROM, the customizations are in the pixelizer, like the in the pixelizer, the customizations are. And here, if you go, you can see like there are some kind of customizations like traffic indicator and stuff. Then the blur behind quick settings. If you notice the background over here, there is the blur and show status bar on lock screen is there. And in the clock settings, you will find the clock like style and stuff. You can choose the clock to center and that does not have any points because as you can see there is the notch in the center so i'll just like choose it on the left side and here you can enable the am pm style if you need and date and stuff you can enable them if you want now let me show the power menu over here we have the advanced reboot so as you can see we have the like restart option if you tap restart right now as the advanced restart is enabled it will like directly go to recovery if you tap recovery and bootloader is the fast boot of course and you can normally reboot too if you want as you can see there is this vaulty icon but i cannot really see the vaulty icon over here i have no idea why it shows you can choose between these many vaulty icons but the vaulty icon is simply not appearing on my side and there is this invert layout if you are using the two or three button navigation and in terms of the navigation gestures of android 10 this has been working fine you can also have the full screen gestures which hides the pill also so that's a nice feature but i'm not really using it and over here you can change the sensitivity and you can use two or three button navigation from here we have the swipe to screen to gesture but it like makes the sound let me show you as you can see this is the oxygen waste kind of screenshot gesture of this three finger screenshot but you cannot really disable the sound so let me go to the sound settings and show you what else is inside the sound settings here in the me sound enhancer like we can choose between these many headphones and the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is really good over here in this room i have no problems with that but as you can see we have the option to disable dial pad tone screen locking sound charging and like vibration sounds and then touch sounds touch vibration etc but there is no option to disable screenshot taking sound so that's kind of weird and we also have the live caption of course as you can see and you can expand the volume panel just like this so this is pretty cool now let's talk about the battery life i would say the battery life has been really good i have been getting really good battery life with this from as you can see i have got about 5 hours and 40 minutes of screen on time and i still have 42 percent juice left and let me show you as you can see this is the full usage i did not top it up so i would say the battery life is really good over here and it also supports fast charging i mean this rom does support fast charging so you don't need to worry about it and talking about banking apps well yes banking apps are working right out of the box i have tried with google pay and i had no issues google pay setup was totally fine and even payments and stuff with google pay is working right out of the box you don't need to worry now talking about the stock cameras over here present on this rom i would say the stock camera on this rom is the 
old google camera which kind of sucks in my opinion so i was a little bit disappointed but i would say i'm pretty happy now because i also see the google camera present by default over here and the google camera has like those night sights and stuff those things are working totally fine but i would say everything should be working fine if you are okay with google camera but if you want like a good kind of selfie of like miui camera you got to flash the latest anx camera if you want that but no miui camera by default present over here you can of course install anx camera like you can flash the latest anx camera if you don't have the anx camera here is a card for you if you don't know about the anx camera and i would say the ir blaster on this device is working totally fine i have tested with this led rgb remote app the ir blaster over here is working totally fine and the stock launcher is the pixel launcher of course pixel ui pixel plus ui i mean and here you have the suggestion disabling option and stuff you can scroll down anywhere to get to the quick settings panel to the left we have the google now card swiping up gets you to the app drawer and stuff simple stuff over here so i would say this is a pretty great rom if you want to daily drive with like redmi note 7 pro with a really like stock android ish rom this is a really good option for you guys and the stock dialer over here is the pixel dialer so it does not have the call recording option so don't expect call recording over here and talking about the styles and wallpapers i would say yes the living universe or the live wallpapers are present by default and this is the default wallpaper which is set and you can like set any kind of live wallpapers you can download them and set them if you want to now in the display settings there is the styles and wallpapers you can customize a theme from here like this you can choose this font and you can choose these like accent colors there are not much accent colors as you can see you cannot really scroll to other colors these are all the colors these are the eight colors you get by default so you can choose any color and like set a theme and use that like as a custom theme from here and if you go to the wallpaper of course you have those wallpapers now talking about the other things like night light and stuff is working fine and talking about dark theme yes it has been working fine i was using the rom with dark theme it double tap to wake does work but only bummer that i see is there is no double tap to sleep at all on this rom which kind of sucks that i always have to use the power button to like lock the device but yeah this is a pixel kind of ui even on the pixel 4 there is no double tap to sleep as far as i know but yeah that's how it is there is no double tap to sleep in the ui but you can like wake the device by double tapping like this now talking about fingerprint scanner speed here is the demo as you can see the fingerprint scanner is like pretty fast i have no complaints with the fingerprint scanner over here it unlocks the device pretty fast and i know the like 480p youtube video really really sucks i am sick and tired of the 480p because of this human malware thing but yeah we have to get away with it right now i don't like the 480p option in the youtube app right now if you want to watch the video on 1080p do use a pc or something or a tv and in terms of pubg you can play on smooth and ultra then you can go balanced and ultra then we have the hd and high option for pubg in like smooth and ultra the performance should be pretty good you can get about 40 fps of gameplay experience over here and i would say that will be like good enough and i cannot really show you the android scores because on this redmi note 7 pro i don't know why the android benchmark app just crashes so yeah i think it's a device specific bug but overall on daily driving performance the rom should be pretty good one more thing that i forgot to add is that there is no heads up disabling option over here so the heads up notification comes around and it is kind of annoying that i cannot disable the heads up notifications that's me it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now